Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, to answer a question that uh, I've had uh, in the past uh, couple of days, and I was uh, I wanted to answer it and just left it here on a piece of paper to remind me. Um, and it's about the uh, memory that is allocated to uh, graphics uh, GPUs or graphics cards, if you want. So if you go into Task Manager and you look at the GPU, you will see that in the GPU, which is your graphics processor, which shows what you have on the screen. Um, basically, some of you might have more than one. In my gaming laptop, for example, I got GPU 0 and 1, which is the basic uh, GPU from the computer and, of course, a NVIDIA. Now, one of the things that somebody was asking me is, okay, so you get the GPU, and it's a, yeah, and that graphics processor has its internal memory, and it has what's called shared memory. So what exactly is the difference, and how does it work? So... One of the problems, um, and one of the things, and of course, there's a, a second question that comes with it uh, for the viewer, which is, now, if I have a graphics adapter that has a certain amount of memory for my GPU, and I add more RAM, I'll have more shared memory, which is better for the GPU. And the simple answer to that is no. Uh, first of all, when you actually look at games, and they tell you that you're graphics card or the GPU needs to have at least four gigabytes of RAM, for example, they actually only specify the video RAM that is on board the graphics GPU itself. And the graphics GPU itself will have a certain amount of RAM. And then, of course, there's, and that's been the use for a long time, there's what's called shared GPU memory. Shared GPU memory means that it's using part of your RAM memory to actually give the GPU more space. Problem is, there's a huge difference between what's in the uh, included with the GPU and the shared memory. The RAM memory that you have on your graphics card that's included with the graphics chip is a million times faster of access to the, to the graphics adapter itself than the shared memory. So when games stipulate um, you'll need six gigabytes, uh, well, if your GPU has four gigabytes of internal memory and is shared at, say, eight, gig eight gigabytes or 15 gigabytes, depending on how much RAM you have, it's the actual onboard RAM that will be taken into account, which means your game is not going to work. The game never takes into account shared memory. It takes into account the memory that's onboard the graphics adapter. And the reason is, it's the one that's the fastest. So shared memory is more or less useless in most cases because it's slow compared to the onboard RAM, and it actually also takes away some of the RAM from your main machine. So you never really want your GPU to use shared memory. You want your GPU to just perform with what's onboard, and that's why graphics adapter when you purchase like those that purchase a desktop for example will buy a graphics card you'll look at how much ram is on board the card because that's what's important the shared memory is like i said none and not important and so slow that it really isn't very good um, in case of this one for example this is an iris plus graphics Onboard memory is like very, very small. Um, I don't see here any indication of how much there is, but it typically has less than a gigabyte of, of um, onboard memory. And that means that what this graphics card is good to do is not much except, you know, running Windows and, and light games, as we'll say. Um, it 
counts on mostly the shared GPU memory for anything else. And so this would not be a, a, a gaming, you know, if you take games of today, this will not run pretty much any games. Um, but some will have um, a separate, it's going to tell you separately in the uh, graphics GPU uh, how much you have of um, RAM that's dedicated and how much is shared. And on that number, which will show up, you will know actually that, you know, your GPU has or doesn't have uh, this amount of dedicated memory. Usually, um, here it um, only tells you shared, but usually you have two numbers here. You'll often have on most cards, the dedicated GPU memory will show up here, and below it, it will tell you that you have shared GPU memory. When a graphics adapter tells you that GPU memory is, um, is, is in dedicated GPU memory it doesn't show up, it's usually not good news. And the GPU memory that you see here is a total of your GPU memory plus shared uh, GPU memory. So that gives you a total of the number here. So typically on my gaming laptop, for example, it tells me I got dedicated six gigabytes. I got shared 7.7 .7, and it gives me a total of, of course, 13.7 in the bottom left here. But what's important is the dedicated GPU memory. That's what makes your graphics adapter really fast and do uh, uh, you know really good graphics performances. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.